Yep. Welcome to the Game of Thrones trial for Sega Vintage Collection, Alex Kidd and Company. Uh, apparently, uh, Sega decided to be a great idea to release some older games uh, for what I would call more money than they're probably worth, but nostalgia is something. I don't have quite as much. So I'm going to start off with uh, Alex Kidd and Mirable World. behind that, but oh well. Gotta love those sideburns. As a kid, part of me, you know, I, I didn't have a Nintendo growing up. I had Tandy and all that kind of stuff, so my parents figured that would suffice. Which, I mean, I'm alive, it did. It's just, I really, really want Nintendo. So part of me always wanted to like Alex Kidd just because he was the clear... I mean, saying alternative is maybe giving more credit, but you know, he was Sega's answer, Sega's mascot to, to Mario. So part of me just wanted to like him just because Mario was everybody you know, knew and liked, so he was just you know the alternative. So. I don't know what that little skull thing was. So I believe Microsoft is bundling these together for ten dollars. So if you have a ton of nostalgia for these games, you know, it's right up your alley. I was very happy and pleasantly surprised to see uh, Alex Kidd was in Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing, one of my favorite racing games. So hopefully he'll be in the sequel. This bike is crazy fast, so I like that. Okay, we're just gonna play through a little bit of this here. You get the idea. I'm punching blocks, and I believe this is one of the games where you have to oh, beat bosses by uh, participating in rock paper scissors or Jenkin, I believe it's called. But I don't know if there's a bunch of Alice kits. I don't know if it's Miracle World or I don't know. I'm not playing very well. Alright, and I didn't make it very far. That's Alex Kid. Yeah. I don't know if I can run through a little faster. I could just kinda make a beeline through this level. Put a couple of stops here and there. Okay. Not doing that much better. Okay. Revenge of Shinobi. I like the menu setup, I gotta say. It's uh it's kinda cool. And I'm looking at the Alex Kid art on the left there, I'm wondering when that was made, and because it looks a lot like the art you would see in Japan for uh, Mario games, so I don't, I mean, I don't know if I'm ignorant saying this, but I don't know who sort of did that first. I'd be curious to know for sure. Okay, I cannot play Revenge of Shinobi, apparently. Hmm, that. Kinda sucks. Uh, can I play Super Hang On? And there we have it. What? No, I can't play that either. Why, why even? Why make me think I can play it then? Okay.
All right, this is Sega Vintage Collection. This is the trial of Monster World. Okay, he's playing that Wonder Boy Monster Land. Okay, blah blah blah. So we have Monster World 4, Wonder Boy Monster World, and Wonder Boy Monster Land. Well, Monster Land would sound like it, was, it seems like it's a lot smaller than Monster World. Give it a shot. Imagine if uh, Game Room would have continued on and we could have played this type of stuff. Oh well. Okay, what? Let's start the game. How did I know how to do that? I don't know anything about Monster Land. Not a thing. At least he knocked. It's a nice stab right there. I like that. Nice slow moving snake. I'm getting my buttons mixed up because apparently by default X is jump and A is uh, the action button that put on attack. I don't like that. One gold get. Well, thank you. Cocktail or beer? A kid's game, no doubt. Uh, I'll just have a beer. Why not? Wonder Boy? <laughs> Why not have a beer? change these controls. Did I actually change that or what? I don't... I don't even know. No, I didn't do anything. Great. Uh, controls. Okay, that's on. And that's on. There we go. Now I've made them both jump. I'm not doing this very well, am I? Okay, I want A to be jump, X to be stab people in the head. There we go. Now we are cooking with gas. Death. Did you say he gave me a shield? How do I use that? Where's my shield? This isn't going very well. I love how this takes up the full screen. It's beautiful. Did I miss on... Did I miss how to, uh... No, man, I'm not doing this right at all. Hey. Did you stab him? Come on. The sword is called Gradius. <laughs> Should probably have known that, but I didn't, so that's, that's okay. Can I get the revival thing again? Yay, he's defeated. Coins and a key. Can I get the rest of the coins? Like, 
Make a note. Jump over coins. What's the key to get coins? Oh crap. I'm not doing very well. You can't fill up my life bar? Come on. Hey, a little toe looking thing. Why am I. Oh, I must have. Oh crap. Did I set it to jump and do that? Wait a minute. I don't know what that is. That just looks disturbing. Ah. Shield. I'd like that to be... No, I don't want to jump. I want... No. No, never mind. So I can make, I made wide, jump, and stab. Nice. I can go for some new boots. Or boots, period. Can I help you? Leather, cloth. Well, I'll probably buy something else, so. Okay, buy it. This is actually kind of fun. I have no nostalgia for this at all, but I kind of like it. Hey, more alcohol. Hey, how'd you know? I finally get a shield. I want some clothes, too. That'd be nice. Night shield, night shield. Can I get clothes for eight bucks? Let's see. Hey. Are there mystery clothes in here for free? Or eight dollars? And of course not. And I can't afford anything anyway, so... Oh crap, what is that? Figured I'd die. Oh well, great. Crap. And Wonder Boy is dead. That was kind of fun. Who knows? If they catch me during a sale, I might just pick it up. And as I suspected, you can't really do anything with the rest of this. Alright, so that concludes uh, the Sega Vintage Collection of Game of Trial. Mm, we got a podcast, GameOfThuse.com. We're on Twitter, at Game of I'm on Twitter, at Indifference. The second I is a one. That just about does it. I'm out of here. I like that music.